Bam. I'm leaving Tonga. There, it's out. Hi, I'm Dior. I'm chasing adventure, trying to make the good times last. Here for a laugh and a cry and everything in between. Living in Tonga most of my life, working on our family whales from in Chartabo, and living on islands, embracing epic experiences and the challenges of a world so isolated. So come along for some adventures I'd love to share. Okay, we are currently en route to Namuka again after sailing up to Pangai to drop my friends off. Isaac and Kennedy left the sad. Oh, I had a really good week with them. And I'm packing up all my stuff in my room here because I am leaving Tonga in like a week. I gotta go to mainland to castrate our foals. Big things happening. Wildlife's going too fast. Oh, we just ripped the furling line cleat off. Update for you. We have successfully finished our whale swim charter season and we have successfully rehomed our horses. Um, so we've kind of cut all ties to Namuka. Mum has left, she's gone back to Australia, so Dad and I have been hanging on the boat. Spending the last few weeks in Tonga has been kind of emotional. Um, just. It feels very final, like we lost our house to the tsunami and we don't have that anymore. And we don't have our horses anymore because we moved them to their new homes on a different island. And all we have left really is this amazing connection to the island and so many memories. And it's been really nice having some downtime in Tonga. Um, even though we lost our house to the tsunami and we didn't have any of that left um, but going back and surfing those breaks again and diving the reefs and seeing just pieces of our lives strewn throughout the water and it was it was amazing really um, really sad but um, it was good closure too to come back and um, kind of finalize everything and it's kind of easy to step away and step into my next chapter of um of adventures and i'm really excited for it
fucking party. Uh, I'm actually really excited, but I'm packing up for the next, like, few months, I guess it's going to be. Because um, I will be on the road for a few months. I'm going to be in New Zealand and Australia and hopping around. So I will be living out of this. Take a look. I am all packed and I'm getting up at 3.30 in the morning to jump on to Parle Revival which is parked next to us right now and I'm sailing down to Nukalofa with them so I got an early morning start love my early morning starts but yeah I'm looking forward to the sail should be good Superman <laughs> how much are you gonna miss Dior? Oh my god, Dior's gonna go and I'm just gonna, not gonna know how to cook anything. <laughs> oh! I no, can do more Dior's gonna go and I'm just gonna be lost forever. Well, until Christmas when I see her again. <laughs> just is it? It's three in the morning. I get to visit my Millie baby. So I'm staying at the Campbell's house. They've very kindly um, let me stay. And I'm going back out to where our cults are staying tomorrow, to Chris and Ashley's place, to help castrate them before I fly out. Fun times. So tomorrow morning I'll be heading out and snipping some bowls off the horses. <laughs> are at the Paquette's house, Christian Ashley's, which is the home of the two boys, Sonic and Denny. And we've got Jeff here doing some neuters on their dogs first, and then we're gonna go castrate the foals. Today maybe- This is Holly. She's chief dog holder. Ever chopped horses nuts off before? No. How about you, Andy? What? Have you, are you looking forward to chopping horses nuts off? Oh yeah, so happy about that. Protein. <laughs> hey, I'm Jeff, I'm from Spore in New Zealand, and today we are castrating two colts here. Um, they've come down from Namuka. Um, you may be able to hear them then in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're here to, here to Turn them into, into geldings. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Yeah. Hi, Sonic. It's just like a little funny prick. And it's just a prick. Oh, oh, no. Good night. <laughs> He's passing out. Look oh. at him. Uh oh. Good downward dog you got, Sonic. Wow. Wow. The biggest risk is when they wake up. Okay? Because they don't know where they are, they're wobbly and they will slumble, Flub. but they can actually also break their legs. Yeah. So we don't want them to like get crisscross. So yeah. when that happens, someone is on the front end basically holding the, the head halter. They're gonna go through. Oh. That way, so I've got his, 
Yeah. And it just crushed, crushed, crushed. <laughs> Mind if these guys kick, these are the ones they're gonna lash out. Right. Little baby cakes. Need help? Success. Fine. So that's a good wake up. <laughs> Happy days. Watch your toes. Danny's a bit of a fighter. He likes to throw those uh, front feet out, but we got the needle in. He's going next. Hey, bud. That's a good Remember? Four, four, three. Nah, I'm happy with that. Mission accomplished. Two horses castrated. All went pretty smoothly, minus Denny's little chuck about trying to put the first pre-med in. But, um, yeah, happy it's all done. <laughs> hey pups. Good morning. So Danny and Sonic here seem to be doing well after their surgery yesterday. Bring one of them to check out the wind to make sure they're healing up nicely. Of the world, what's in the life you never